Hello, my name's Rick, and I've got an energy problem. And my electricity prices are through the roof! So, I'm having a battery installed to help slash my monthly outgoings. But I don't have any solar panels. Am I mad? Stay tuned to find out why a battery is still the way forward. And hear from experts like Joel from Charge Easy and Pete from My Energy on what makes all this possible. Let's open it up. It's all to you. It's your battery system. Now, a few years ago, Joel, you came and installed that Zappi, the seven kilowatt Zappi behind me. And it's been brilliant. If you've got an electric car, you need a Zappi. It helps to charge your car. But tell us a little bit about this thing. So this is the My Energy Libby. You can have modulars of five kilowatts. So you can start at five kilowatts, and then if you found you needed more, you can add another five up to 20 kilowatts. So today we're actually putting in a whole 20 kilowatt system. Ferrari. We're maxing out then. So most people would probably start a bit lower, but we need a lot of energy in this house because we're charging my electric car, the cameraman Cal's electric car. We've also got my neighbors who plug into our charger as well. Exactly that. Having extra juice or extra energy is gonna hopefully reduce my cost. Hopefully. Yes, so during the day you will just be drawing out the battery, so it will cut your electric costs right down basically. What made you take this choice of getting this 20 kilowatt at Libby system? Because you don't have solar PV at the moment, but you've got a high usage house. It's been fairly chicken and egg for me because we wanted to get solar, but to get solar on that roof, we need to repair the roof, we need to pretty much replace the roof, which wow. is going to cost loads and loads of money. And I said, Well, I can't, there's no point getting a battery until we've got solar. And I spoke to the team up at My Energy and they said, no, get a battery because you can still charge it up overnight, fill it up with, with energy overnight on your cheap rate electric, yep. and then export that during the day, which is gonna save you loads of money. So here we are. So this is why this comes in nice. There's only a few on the market that will do this. My Energy One is one of the pioneers, and one of the better ones to do this job. Okay, so let's talk about the actual, the numbers, because at the moment, if you can charge off peak, or if you can use off peak electricity, it's you know, at the time of filming this, about seven pence per kilowatt hour. Depending on which tariff you're on, yes. So from half 11 to half five, there's a certain tariff with a certain company that is seven pence a kilowatt hour. So it's half the price, basically, of what you pay during the day. I mean, maybe even two thirds of the price off. So. Well, sometimes, yeah, it, it depends. You know, the prices fluctuate throughout the day, depending on usage. So breakfast time, prices are higher. Then it drops when everybody goes to work and goes to school or whatever. And then lunchtime, when the kettles go on, prices rise again. And then it drops again in the afternoon. And then when the kids get home or people get home from work, then it rises again. And then once all the cookers and ovens have gone off, it drops again overnight. So it, there's a massive fluctuation throughout the market throughout the day. Stick around to see how much we saved after two months of use. So when we turn up to install your battery storage system, here are the three steps we need to follow. So step one is siting and location of the battery storage system. Is it suitable for the uh, area that we're working in? Step two is the cable run and how we're going to install the cable back to source where we're going to get the energy and the, the electric for the charger. Step three is energizing the system. Uh, setting up and commissioning ready for handover to the customer. So it generally takes us two days to install a battery storage system. Once we've installed it and commissioned and handed it back to the customer, it will be cheaper electricity and saving you money over time. So a bit further down the road, when we've saved up for solar, we want to put it on the roof. How does that then integrate with the rest of the system? Now at this point, I thought it was wise to glean some extra info from the mighty My Energy themselves. So I gave Pete Cox a tinkle on the bat phone to see what else there is to know about their latest product. So you've got a couple of options there. So Libby includes a hybrid inverter. Now what that means is your Libby can act as the inverter for your solar panels. So it can connect to your panels and take energy as it's generated and help you to consume it in the property. So if you're not using it, you could store it in the battery and save it for later. Or if you haven't got solar panels yet, that doesn't mean that you can't go ahead with a Libby. You can have it as its own standalone system. We call it AC coupled. And that means you could draw cheap energy from overnight tariffs and you could use it to power your home or charge your car, for example. Oh, what happens if I have a power cut? So with this system, we can put a backup system in, a backup circuit. So if you have a power cut, we can keep certain circuits in the house running. Now for some people that is a fridge or a freezer, for others it's Wi-Fi. Um, I've even heard Joel who did your install speaking about if you had a stair lift. You could keep that stair lift running off of that backup circuit. So 
you know you're not going to be in trouble, basically. That, for example, is incredible because if you've got something really crucial that you cannot live without, then that could be powered in the event of a blackout. How long will the battery last? Will it degrade much? Yeah, so uh, battery technology is, is relatively new mass market domestic, so it's quite hard to tell. I mean, when you think about our battery itself, the Libby battery has a 10-year warranty on it. Um, I would expect it to go further than that, but with everything, it's, it's always difficult to tell. So we put a 10-year warranty on it, um, but hopefully it will go long beyond that. How else do you see these batteries being valuable for, for a homeowner? This adds value to your house. If you come to sell the house, this will add to your EPC, making your EPC higher which is always a tick in an estate agent's box. So solar panels and battery storage, VAT free at the minute. So fundamentally, you don't pay 20% when you purchase. I've, I've been warned about the app. Apparently uh, it's ruined many a relationship because people just spend a lot of time checking the numbers. Yeah, and it, it, you can spend a lot of time there when you, you pull it out to an Excel file, a CSV file, and there's just data and data. And You know what, though? It, it might look a little bit scary having lots of data, but you can make some really informed decisions. And ultimately, we're here to try and save people money and make it easier and more accessible to do that. And the app allows us to do that really easily. Here's one for you, Pete. Is it going to burst into <laughs> flames? Everyone, everyone in the Daily Mail says it will. It's really difficult with anything that you install because it's as good as the installation is. So if I myself turned up to your house, I'm colorblind, I can't install this one. If I put wires the wrong way around, we're gonna have an issue. As an installer, why would you recommend getting these batteries over other ones? These do everything you need to do and it fits in with your micro system that you have, your ecosystem. So you've got the charger, you've got the eddy, and then we've got the Libby and it all fits into one and it's all on one app so you can control it all via one app and they all speak to each other so it's just a little family basically i do love that app so after a few months living with libby has it made a difference 100 percent yes we've just had our may energy bill through which has been more than slashed half what it was in may last year so in a nutshell you don't need to have solar to slash your energy bill and finally crunching the numbers this is how much we expect the libby system to save us over the course of a year pause if you need more time